Hey there, and welcome back to Be Healthier. We have prepared a true treat for you today. We are making heavenly carrot cake with vanilla cashew frosting. Whether you are a carrot cake fan or you have been avoiding it because you can't imagine that carrot-based dessert tastes amazing, you will love this recipe. Even though it has a super satisfying flavor and moist and silky texture, we promise we kept this dessert healthy. This cake has no refined sugar or oil and it's completely vegan and raw. And the best of all is that it does not require special skill and it comes together quickly. So let's roll up our sleeves and get cooking. This recipe has two easy parts, the carrot cake base and vanilla cashew frosting. And they're both sweetened with dates. So let's first remove pits from dates and cover them with hot water. If your dates seem dry, make sure you do this step. But even if you're using a juicy soft dates like Medjool, I recommend soaking them. Oh, and our cashews for frosting are also getting a hot water treatment. So pop them in a medium bowl and cover them with the hot water for an hour or so. Now we start preparing and gathering ingredients for base. Grab a food processor or a high-speed blender and let's start by turning our one and a half cups of rolled oats into beautifully coarse flour. And once it's done, transfer the oat flour into a bigger mixing bowl. Next, place one cup of raw walnuts in the same blender and blend them up until they transform into nutty flour and then in the same mixing bowl they go, joining hands with oats. To them, we're gonna add 3 quarter cup of coconut flakes, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of ground ginger and pinch of salt. This is it for the dry ingredients, so make sure you just mix them well using spatula or even your hands to break up some clumps from walnuts. Now let's take three bigger carrots and peel them or clean them the way you're used to. And then we're gonna finely grate them using the smallest side of the box grater until you have about two cups of finely grated carrots. Then add the carrots to a blender bowl. And remember the dates we soaked in the beginning? At this point, they should be soft and juicy. Drain them, reserving the water. And then we're gonna add those dates and a little bit of the soaking liquid to the blender with carrots. Give it a blend until you have a wonderfully smooth texture. Depending on your equipment, you might need to do this in batches and you might need to add a little bit more of that soaking liquid, but that's perfectly fine. Now combine this carrot date goodness with your dry mix and mix it up like you are creating a culinary masterpiece. Now grab your baking pan and line it with a plastic wrap. The ideal size is 6 inch square pan in which you would make 2 layers of the cake. So you would press one half, then remove it using that plastic wrap and then press the other half. But I'm working from my remote deer kitchen here in Montenegro and all I have is a big baking pan. If you're dealing with the same circumstances, just press all of the dough and flatten the top and line the edges. And then later we're gonna cut it in half and get two layers of the carrot cake. Pop this into a freezer for about 30 minutes to let it firm up beautifully. 
While our cake base is chilling, let's work on our dreamy vanilla cashew frosting. Oh wait, let me just show you how beautiful the fruit is that our neighbor brought us while I was cooking. And I love how we share homegrown food with our neighbors. Okay, back to recipe. So now is the time to drain well our soaking cashews and get rid of that soaking liquid. And then we're gonna go ahead and transfer cashews into the food processor or blender along with the dates that we also drained. With that, we're gonna also add one tablespoon of tahini one teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a cup of oat milk. Blend it all until you meet with a silky luscious frosting that's nothing short of heavenly. And now it's time to bring it all together. Take the cake out of the freezer and if you did one long layer like I did here, we're gonna cut it in half as best as we can and then we're gonna take first cake layer and place it on a plate. And then we're going to spread about 60% of that cashew cream on top. Now delicately lay the second cake layer. If you see that edges are not aligning perfect, just take a knife and cut that part out. This dough easily shapes into delicious balls that you can snack on later. Let the remaining frosting cover the cake like a cozy blanket and to that perfect finishing touch add a sprinkle of chopped walnuts. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Now all that's left to do is to give your masterpiece a little time in a fridge to set its flavors. But trust me, the wait will be so worth it. So there you have it, our mouth-watering, health-boosting carrot cake with vanilla cashew frosting. Remember, each bite is a step towards a bit healthier you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Stay well, stay vibrant and keep making those a little bit healthier choices.